Hey guys, Nostalgio here, back with another Edison deck profile. Today we're doing a Flamvel deck profile, and it's a uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good deck. Anyway, I uh, got main side and extra, of course, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So for the Flamvel engine itself, I just maxed out on the counts: three dog and three magician. Uh, you kind of need these cards to be in the grave, so we do play a little bit of mill stuff, but uh, there's not a card trooper in here. I feel like I should play a card trooper. But, uh, yeah, these cards are, you know, the payoff is uh, the rekindling, triple rekindling. You get to play Soul Charge, so you got to play all these dumb guys. But uh, this card's still really good. If it attacks over a monster, you special this one from the deck, and it does, uh, you can special an attack and, and swing again with 14, so it's pretty good. But you run into, like, Raikos and stuff a lot, um, which is really unfortunate. But, uh, you know, this uh, engine's pretty strong. It's not very safe to attack into a set guy, though, because if it's, like, Gravekeeper Spy or Raiko, you just get hit. But... Uh, you know, even if it dies, you start just rekindling it back later, so it's it's not the end of the world. Next, play three Raiko. Like I was saying, I kind of want to play some uh, mill stuff, you know, get the guys in the graveyard for the rekindling to be live. So I like triple Raiko. Um, and then I'm also playing the one charge. Like I said, I should be playing card trooper to be honest, but this deck is just all normal summons or sets basically, so I don't mind, you know, not adding to that count. Uh, next, played triple spy and one descendant. Uh, this is good, especially since, like, you know, if, if uh, something small runs into it, you get two bodies on the field, then you normal summon your guy and then make some synchros, so that's pretty cool. But you also have this for uh, tributing for Caius, and it's also a dark for Dad, so a lot of cool stuff there. And uh, Descendant makes this engine way, way better. I mean, this was played in, like, goad format and stuff, and, like, just these in one guard kind of sucks, but this really makes it, you know, uh, like an actually good engine a lot of the time. Uh, next, I played the Triple Caius. Caius is, like, just, you know, gas. You like, it's, it's really good. And we play, like, the Raikos, the Gravekeeper Spies, a lot of traps. So the game slow rolls a little, and Caius just comes in and does big, big damage. Big work. Uh, next, we got Gores, Dark Arm Dragon, and Gale. Just a couple good dark monsters. Obviously, these two are big bossers. This can climb Stardust, which is cool, but it's also just a dark, um, which is not bad. It's not a bad summon. It's a tuner. Uh, it has a lot of, you know, good it, it, it's good. <laughs> All these cards are good. I also want to play Trag. This deck feels a little tight, but I can definitely... There's definitely things like, you know, flex spots, but I like the build how it is. This is how I've been running it for a while. It's pretty good. Into the spell. So that's all the monsters. So first off, triple rekindling. This is your big thing. Like, this is why the deck is good and, and, and why it even does anything. Uh, if it didn't, you would just be playing, like, a pretty bad engine <laughs> being those, you know. But, uh... When your deck doesn't play just, uh, you know, Magician, set Magician Pass, this is pretty good. Like, this card's pretty crazy. We got Soul Charge in 2010. Like, what do you think? Like, of course the card's crazy. Next play, Triple Book of Moon. This lets your uh, Flamevel Fire Dog climb stuff to bring out the Magician, get that uh, engine going. So this is pretty good. It's also just a reactive, um, you know, Trap-esque card, which can be pretty good. Gets over, gets through Jinzo, which is in the format, you know, so it's pretty cool. Uh, spells. One, Charge of the Light Brigade. Uh, this is the only, like weird consistency one of we're not playing allure i probably should uh because there's a good bit of targets i probably should play allure there's a lot of cards that i would do want to play in here drag allure uh card trooper a lot of really good cards but uh yeah uh one brain control one mind control since uh you know the the core of the deck is just a, a lame tuner guy this is pretty good and uh brain control works really well with kais as well you know it's a good card so all those cards are really strong. Mind Control is actually really strong because you can also take Raiko, so it's, it's pretty good there. Uh, next, one Heavy Storm, one MST. Also another card uh, could be Sangan, but it isn't such your main guy, so it's not even that big of a deal. Anyway, Heavy Storm, MST. You get to main deck these cards. You know it's Edison format. They're both a one. You got to do it. Uh, that's all the spells. So into the traps. Uh, the trap lineup's pretty hefty. Um, and it's really good, you know, a lot of good impact stuff. So obviously Double Royal Oppression works really well in this deck because uh, they can't stop your Fire Dog, um, which is pretty cool. So, you know, you swing in with Fire Dog and they can't oppression your your guy it comes out. They obviously can oppression your Synchro if you do that main too, but, um, you know, you have to play around this correctly. But you have Caius's as well um, in Raiko, so, you know, the game can definitely be a battle of attrition through that. And a lot of the time you'll, you, you'll win. Next, I played uh, two Bottomless and two Deep Prison, some good two of traps. Uh, this uh, is not a two. I don't think it's a two. It might be a two. It's a two in a lot of lists. I don't know. Uh, I'm not perfect with the ban list. Uh, bottomless is a two. Uh, a lot of really good traps. Like, those cards are just good traps, like, generically. Then I played the one ofs, the TT, Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, and Trap Dust Shoot. 
you know, the one of that most people play. You could play Call as well. Uh, wouldn't be bad in this deck at all. So, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. That's the main deck. It's 40. I wanted to keep it 40. I didn't want to go over. But, like I said, there were a lot of cards that I wanted to add. You could uh, take out, like, D-Prisons, like some, uh, you know, flex spots, spots there. You could side the mind control if you wanted. Um, maybe, you know, cut some of the main deck monster accounts to two. Like, a lot of people play two Magician. So, uh, you could uh, switch it around. But I do like this build a lot. How it's uh, it's been running really well. Anyway, into the extra deck. Uh, pretty generic stuff. You know, your your level fives. You got Android, Cataster, uh, Sixes, Brio, Goyo. A lot of sevens in the deck. So we play Armor Master because we play the the guy. Um, uh, you know, Gale. So it's it's not bad. This guy's pretty big. Uh, then we have a Black Rose, an Urbellum, and an Arcanite. Since I'm playing the Brain Control and um, Mind Control. So these cards are all pretty good. Actually, wait, and I play the it's it's because of the um uh because of these. Not because just because of brain control, mind control. Duh, this card's crazy. Arcanite's a crazy card. Into the eights, I played uh two Stardust Dragon and two Colossal Fighter. Since we make eights a lot with the rekindling stuff, uh, I just wanted to play a lot of these guys. So also a red dragon red dragon archfiend and a thought ruler archfiend. And then the last card is just a uh, Fortress Dragon, a Chimera Tech. I played uh, two Cyber Dragon in the side deck, uh, of course, you know, if you're playing that card. Anyway, into the side deck, two Cyber Dragon, like I was saying, card's good, it, you know, it's really good against the, ma uh, the machine matchups, and it's, you know, also, like, I guess in this extender, you, like, special this, and the normal summon uh, Fire Dog, if you don't get TT'd or Mirror Force, you're, like, doing a lot, a lot of work right off rip. Then uh, two DD Crow, the side deck's really, really, like, generic in normal, by the way, so, I mean, you know, I just threw it together, like, one second before the video, because I wanted to add a side deck. Then, uh, Triple Light Imprisoning and Triple Mask of Restrict. These just beat some of the best decks in the format, in my opinion. Lights War and Frognark, uh, they're just floodgates for it, you know, you, they're pretty fun cards, <laughs> as floodgates usually are. Then you play, uh, two Dust Tornado, and two Pulling the Rug, and one of Mind Crush. Uh, that's, the whole, the whole side deck, it's really standard, like I was saying, you know, it's just good stuff it hits a lot of decks in the format so yeah that's uh that's the deck profile main side and extra if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe makes a huge difference join the discord in the link description link in the description for the discord that's everything hope you have a good day goodbye